We're in Sydney for the Green Carpet premiere where the film star, Mr. Jack Black, will be stopping by to tell us all about it. And this is the third time around. Yeah. How does that conversation go? When they call you and say, Jack, we want to do a third one, what do you say? I say, what's the story? Give me the plot. Sell me on it, boys. Quentin, welcome to Australia, man. Big name stars, I know, especially for Hateful Eight, you mentioned that this isn't a movie that you need big stars, but what's really cool is that people like Jackson, like Roth, these are guys who careers were made on the back of your movies. How's that for you, purely as a, as a fan of film? Oh, well, no, that's lovely. And I actually think, when it comes to uh, when Sam Jackson, when Tim Roth, when Michael Madsen, uh, uh, if you're a fan of mine, then they are superstars. Can I do like a pole opposite right now? Do the mean face, can you do that? My face off. <laughs> <laughs> this is my <laughs> So what do you think needed the most work? All my work went into the prep. Yeah. That was the hardest part of all of this. Kid, what do you think? He nailed everything the yeah. best. Yeah, he nailed everything the best. So what was the worst? The hype. What? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't get the hype right. Poe doesn't wear a shirt. Did you ever walk in the studio with no shirt on, just pants? I see where you're going with this. We can do it right now, Let's right here. do this, bro. That's all you get. It's a children's show. Come on, guys, it's family. Joel, congratulations on the film, man. Thank Checked you. out last night. I don't know whether to to shake your hand or stay as far away from it as possible. You scared the hell out of me. Good. Good. That's your intention. You know, I, I think that you don't need to have daggers and buckets of blood in a movie to scare a person. We know that there's a magic ten mm. hanging above your head here. I won't ask is that still in place? What I'll ask is, say you do 10, and then 20 years from now you come up with another killer idea. Will you pass that on? Will you sit on it? Will you just come out and do it? Where do you think you'll be in that point in time? That's an interesting question. I've thought about it and everything. Well, it's just scuffed. Here, you, know, you can have this. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take it. Yeah, I'm sure you have 40 of right? Get my new one. That's fine, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> you know, that's how, that's how it's going, man. Yeah. Um, stunt ones. Sorry, yeah, you can, are you sure? Jesus. I thought it was, was a gift. I thought it was a gift. Hello, right, Jack. Thanks so much, man. Appreciate your time. Been good. You're afraid of me. I'm not afraid. Yeah, you are. Before I go, just purely as a film fan here, you're not going to go Clint Eastwood on us now and never act again, right? You are still going to act as much as you can and direct. When you asked him there, you got Jason across from me and you say, no, do that better, please. Yeah, I was great. Um, you just <laughs> need to work on your yeah. blah, blah, blah. <laughs> What's really cool, we get glimpses of Tupac and Snoop here. There's rumours that there's going to be a sequel. Thoughts. You're asking me about yeah. a sequel? Man, I'm trying to get the first one sold in Australia. You're asking me about a sequel. For Event TV, I'm Neil Griffith. Yeah.